All right, um, I'm inside a cave outside of Allerton's Beach. I've I found uh, had to kind of dig my way into it, um, and I'm inside of a chamber right now. I'm going to show you around a little bit. All this in here is part of the cavern. There's my backpack. Um, I climbed in through that hole back this way here. You can see that little space back there. Anyhow, inside the cavern, there's all kinds of crystals and whatnot. You can see they're see-through quartz. There's some really nice pieces in here. But I also found pieces like this. Get a good view of it. Is it look like cutting tools? See it's really sharp around the edges. And you can see it was either a cutting tool or a spear tip or whatever. This one isn't see-through at all. Um, but there's some giant pieces of quartz. And the caverns really don't go back too far. There's a hole down there. And that goes all the way to water. And there's another hole up this way. See that little opening? And this also... Uh, makes it down to water but I climb down there and it's a little too tough to climb back out of and this part up here you can climb up that as well but all these little spaces I can show you my flashlight there's not much room to get through Now one thing that's really interesting about this place. Oh yeah, I brought a beer too. Woohoo. Uh, is it's actually a tomb. And you can see there's a skull right there. Sorry, this takes a minute to get through. This is a human skull. And there's all kinds of his bones laying around here. A couple of hip bones and ribs and everything else. It also climbs up all through here, pretty much dead ends, but there might be a couple other spots up there. Climbed all the way up through that hole, but I didn't get to see much up there. Anyhow, this is one of those, oh there's a bone right there, didn't even see that guy. It's a human bone of some kind. I'm putting him up top here. I don't know, maybe it's a... That kind of small for a metacarpal or big for a metacarpal. There's another bone. Anyhow, years and years ago, somebody was buried up here, or maybe multiple people. And it might have been one of those spots where they came to make tools and weapons, but pretty far inside that's the hole I climbed through to get in that's about well I'm pretty skinny and my front and my back were touching through there so I'd say it's about probably 10 inches to 12 inches deep and not much wider it also goes up to another part of a cavern up top here and uh, well, that's about it. So, happy Spurlunkin'.